Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Justin Johnson, and uh, it's a beautiful day here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm out on my front porch. I just got back in town from uh, up in Indiana. I was at the Sweetwater headquarters up there doing a presentation for uh, API, a company called API. And I just got back, and this baby was sitting on my doorstep. And uh, I'm very excited about what's in this box right here. This is a brand new guitar that was built by Big D Guitars. And um, Big D Guitars is up in Chicago and um, built this guitar. He builds a lot of great guitars actually. One of the cool things about Big D Guitars is that all the instruments he makes, uh, he has a great YouTube channel where he shows you every step of the process of how he builds these guitars. So, when you see what this is, you see what it looks like and sounds like. If you want to see the entire process from start to finish of how he built it, you can go to his website, BigDGuitars.com, and actually uh, see it from when it was just a few chunks of wood to uh, what you're going to see here in just a second. And um, I've got a few guitars by Big D Guitars, and I love them. This one uh, is, is really cool and really special, too. He uh, wrote me, he texted me when he was in Lynchburg, Tennessee, which is, you know, about a couple hours from Nashville here. And he said, uh, I'm in Lynchburg, Tennessee, and I've got an idea for a guitar, and I'm excited about it. And uh, if you know what Lynchburg, Tennessee is, that's where they have the Jack Daniels Distillery. And so I immediately started thinking, whatever this guitar is, it's going to be cool, and it's going to have something to do with Jack Daniels. And so, as you can see, oh man, this looks killer. He took uh, one of the oak barrels, uh, all of their whiskey is aged in these oak barrels. And he actually took one of the barrels and made it into a solid body electric guitar. Check this out. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can smell the whiskey <laughs> just opening it. This is crazy. Wow, what a beautiful job he did on this. And he made the neck, he made the, the body, um, hand-wired the pickups, these are hand-wired pickups that he made. Look at that. It's got the uh, logo burnt into the oak, so all of their barrels are made out of white oak. And uh, the whiskey's aged in those barrels for, I think it's around four or more years. And so the, the actual oak there, the wood, um, has just been permeated with it, and it's it's kind of cool, and it's also uh, I'm interesting to interested to see how it sounds. Look at that. And I'll tell you a little bit about the the process again. If you go to his website, BigDGuitars.com, subscribe to his YouTube channel, you'll be able to see how he built this from the ground up. And so the top of the guitar is actually the top of the barrel, the flat part of the barrel, where they burn that logo in uh, for Jack Daniels. In the back is uh, actually uh, old barn wood. Uh, the, there's a lumber yard here in Nashville that he got this aged barn wood from. And uh, they specialize in used wood, like old aged wood like that. So that's also oak, just like the barrel. But it's got the age, it's been weathered, you know, it's gone through, uh, I don't know how, you know, probably a century or so of, you know, aging. And so I'm curious to see how all of this affects the tone of this wood. I'm going to tune it up here. And um, you can see too, if you look on the side, there's actually three pieces of wood to this guitar. There's the top, which is the whiskey barrel. There's the back, which is the, the barn wood, the oak. And then there's a center, a center core. Um, which is solid oak also. So it's a solid body guitar, it's all oak, it's all white oak, but there's three different layers to it. And uh, it's gonna sound like one piece of wood now that it's all glued and clamped together, of course. I'm gonna tune this up to standard tuning just to get started here.
again, it's got it's also has a Bigsby tremolo system here. It's got two uh, hand wound pickups. The neck pickup is a humbucker, and the bridge pickup is a Tele style, a Telecaster style single coil. And if you look down too, uh, I'm going to be running straight in, or I'm going to be running straight into this transformer pedal. That's the only pedal I'm going to be running through on this demo. That's made by uh, API. That is an awesome pedal. Um, just about every video you see, every time you'll see me live doing a performance, I always have this pedal as the last pedal in my signal chain. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what it do does as I'm uh, changing the tones throughout this demo also. But uh, I absolutely love that pedal. It gives me a ton of control over the tone and really lets me get all the tone that's going to be in this guitar out of it and into this uh, Fender Princeton tube amp right here. So I've got a small tube amp. This is almost ready. Just about any time you get a guitar like this brand new, it's not going to be tuned. A lot of times for shipping, the strings are completely slack. So once you tune it up, you want to make sure, you know, once you get it in tune that you stretch the strings out just a little bit like I'm doing now and then retune it. That's important to do because, uh, if you just tune it up and you don't stretch the strings out, then it's going to go out of tune very quickly. So I've got it in tune, and I'm just going to stretch those out one more time. Again, I'm in standard tuning and starting on the bass string. That's E, A, D, G, B, and E. So that's the tuning I'm going to be using. All right. I'm in tune. I'm going to plug in here. I'm using uh, Mogami cables. This has got the silent plug on it, so you actually don't hear the cable until you plug it in. So you never hear that pop when you plug and unplug. I love those cables from Mogami. So let's see what this sounds like. magic moment you know that the first time you ever hear a guitar I mean it's such a special moment and this baby feels great I mean the action every every guitar I've gotten from Big D guitars when it shows up it's like this this has been set up someone has spent a lot of time making sure this feels good and sounds good <laughs> Again, the, the tone you're hearing right now is from this neck pickup. It's nice and punchy, real strong tone. Um, I'm just going to have a little fun on it. This thing, baby, this baby just plays itself. That is great. And that Bigsby tremolo uh, feels good, too. I love the Bigsby tremolo uh, systems. They get a real nice action. Every one of these uh, tremolo systems or whammy bar systems, um, they all have their own play and their own action. But I 
really like my personal um, favorite, you know, I guess, is the Bigsby because it, it sounds almost like a lap steel tone bar. It just has a nice smooth motion. I also love, you know, I was interested in hearing what the wood's going to sound like because every wood has a different tone. You know, maple wood is nice and uh, trebly. It's got a, a sharp attack to it. It's it's real bright. Uh, mahogany is more uh, mellow. It's it's more dark to its tone. And oak to me is somewhere in between the two. So you have a nice versatile balance. You can get a lot of punch from it, but it also gets a lot of bass. And so, uh, like I said, I've been on this neck pickup here. I'm gonna move to the uh, the bridge pickup here. So I'm going to get a lot more twang out of this. You can already tell it's got a lot more twang to it. So I'm going to dial back the uh, treble a little bit on my uh, tone knob here because he's got the volume and tone just like a Telecaster. And then I'm going to come down, uh, just to show you what I'm doing with the tone, I'm going to come down to my uh, transformer pedal here. And I've got a few, uh, I've got an EQ on the transformer also. So these are my uh, highs, I'm going to dial those back to normal, and my, uh, my mids. And so that'll give me a little bit more mellow tone right here. Let's see what that sounds like. Still a little twangy, which is totally normal with the bridge pickup. So I'm going to dial those mids back just a hair more and dial that tone back a little bit. There we go, now I'm getting that honk, that twang, you know, that you get from like a country guitar when you get these tele pickups. I like to think about it like that in my head. But because I dialed in, I took out some of that uh, sharp, you know, tone from the transformer, now I'm gonna have a nice bright tone without it being too sharp. what you want with a guitar like this um, when I'm listening to the tone and I'm moving between the pickups is you want something that has a has more of a mellow vocal 
um, bassier presence on the neck side. So you get that. And then when you go to the bridge pickup, you want something that cuts through more, you know, that has a little more twang and a little more treble to it. And then if you want the in-between, it's got that middle section, that middle setting on the toggle switch that's in between the two. And I, I can already tell, you know, and on some guitars, you think like, okay, the bridge pickup sounds perfect, but maybe the, the treble pickup, the, you know, neck pickup might sound a little off or something like that. This one, they're both the same volume. They both have a great tone. And when you put them in that middle position, they have the middle, the, a little bit of both, you know, and that's really what you're looking for. I'm going to tune up again, you know, like I said, when you first tune up a guitar, it has a tendency to go out of tune when you stretch those strings. So um, I'm going to tune this again just to make sure it's sounding good. Man, I love this thing. All right. And look at this. Um, also, what's really cool about this, and if you see the video series that he made on how he built this guitar, see how old the chrome hardware looks on this? Like, the Bigsby looks like it's, you know, 100 years old. So does everything else. It looks like he got it from, like, the, a shipwreck or something like that. These are actually all new parts. Um, he, he went through a process of aging these, I think, by putting them uh, in a contained space with a, a type of acid. So it's actually a very... Uh, um, you know, a very dangerous process he went through to get this age, but it looks perfect when you have it all together with this old burnt up uh, wooden barrel and you see this, uh, th these aged parts. The cool thing is that it looks old, but it works like it's brand new. You know, that's the only thing about vintage equipment. If it really is old, a lot of times it can break a little more often and you have to get it repaired more. You have to know what you're working with. You can just work this like it's brand new.
Oh man, that sounds so sweet. One of the things that my ear was really uh, enjoying uh, when I was playing that is that when you have uh, these lush chords, you know, I was getting a little more jazzy with that song, and you might have some chords where you're playing all six strings, you know, something like, uh, you know, or, um, and what, what a lot of guitars do, six string electric sometimes will have so much of those low mids, uh, low mid range tones to where all of the bass strings start to get muddy. They start to like, um, you know, get confused. Uh, there's not a lot of clarity between each note. This one has a really clean uh, signal across the whole frequency range. So the low notes don't get so muddy. You can hear, you hear a lot of clarity in there. But they're still nice and fat, you know, they still have a good body to them, they're just clear. I'm going to play a little bit with the slide also, and um, since, you know, again, I'm just running this guitar, uh, the Big D guitar here, into the transformer pedal by API, and then straight into my uh, Princeton reverb amp. This has a gain knob on it, and it's not gain uh, in a sense of like a distortion pedal, but what it is, is there's an analog preamp in here. That's one of the things API is famous for, is the sound of their preamps. And so this is, if I crank this gain knob a little bit, it's going to put enough signal out to where it naturally distorts the tubes in the amp. It's got a compressor on it too, an analog compressor, so I'm going to also get a little compression on there. And listen to the difference in the tone. I'm going to play a little slide with it. What that'll give me, the compressor gives me more sustain and a little more uh, loudness. It just sounds bigger and louder. And then the preamp's going to start breaking those tubes up and saturating those tubes a little bit. this and I got a feeling you're going to be seeing a lot more of this guitar in the future here. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, again, check out my website. All of my music and merch uh, is available at justinjohnsonlive.com. And uh, actually, since I'm talking about my music and merch, 
Uh, Derek from Big D, uh, D Big D Guitars said he had something else in this box for me, and uh, here it is. Uh, something that's it's heavy. Get out my official unboxing knife. Thanks, Jack. If Jack's watching out there, let's see. So if you haven't gone to the JustinJohnsonLive.com page lately and uh, gone to the store page, uh, you should go back there because we're always adding new products. Uh, we've got some exciting new products in development, which I can't tell you about right now, but I'll be telling you about soon. But I just released uh, my new Driving It Down album, so that's available on there. I've also got some uh, new digital versions of some of the products that we offer. So um, like uh, my Chords and Scale book, for example, you can now download the book. Uh, get it immediately and start enjoying it. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Big D, uh, he made some of these posters, and we're going to be offering these posters on the website while supplies last. Uh, limited edition posters. I'm going to be autographing, uh, hand signing every one of these. These will be available on the website, but actually the next uh, 10 people who buy any poster from the Justin Johnson page... Well, I'm going to sign one of these, and uh, you're going to get it for free. So if you're one of the next ten people to buy a poster from JustinJohnsonLive.com, you're going to be getting one of these uh, posters from uh, Big D's. This was actually uh, some photographs that were taken during one of my uh, video shoots when I was over at Big D's uh, Nashville workshop. So it was a fun time. We did some uh, videos. You might have seen them if you've been watching my videos, the few that I shot in a, an old cemetery out there. So again, thanks, Big D. And I'm going to play a little more, have a little more fun. Also, I want to thank uh, Mogami, who uh, all of my cables, if you see me play with these cables, all of my cables are uh, Mogami. I love that company. Thanks also to API, who uh, built the transformer pedal here. I love that thing. <laughs> Thank you. 